Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Rigg here, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like you're gonna watch this vlog, but I really encourage you to, but T-O-O, -O, like an addition, like also, Ryan Rigg, the host of your show. Today, a little bit different vlog, a little bit different tempo, a little more heartfelt. Uh, it's October 15th today, 2014. Um, and quite simply, uh, 23 years ago today, uh, almost about an hour apart from now, uh, my father died. And um, it was October 15th, 1991. I was 11 years old. I can remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I was actually um, at home with my mom and stepdad. Uh, my mom and stepdad, they were at work. I was home with my brother. Uh, it was about five o'clock in the evening. I remember my mom coming home and uh, she had said, hey, Tyler, which is my brother. Hey, Tyler, Ryan, I need to talk to you guys. Okay. I thought we were in trouble. And she had sat us down on the couch and just said she needed to talk to us. And I could tell it was serious. And like I said, mind you guys, I'm 11 years old. So, and she had just, she just came out with it. She was just like, uh, I don't know how to say this. Your dad died. And I remember being extremely emotional. Um, I, there's so many questions, so many answers, uh, no many, not any answers, you know, so many questions and no answers. Um, very dramatic uh, time in my life. Um, the reason is, is because I didn't really have my dad growing up. Um, I don't have very many memories of my father at all, other than what I've seen in pictures. Uh, my dad was not with us when I was young. My brother and I are three and a half, about three and a half years apart. And uh, he left shortly after my brother was born. So I have some memories when I was younger. I can remember one year we went to a picnic and uh, he forgot the bread. <laughs> so random, I know, I was very young. Um, I remember like in the back seat of the car when we were going to the picnic, there was like this awkward toolbox in the back. I don't know what it was, it was just weird. Uh, I remember one time he had come to visit and brought me a skateboard and uh, my mom and stepdad didn't want me to, you know, bring that skateboard in and it was stolen. So it's kind of always been something like a bittersweet, you know, like the only thing my dad ever gave me was stolen from me, you know, and it's, it's some, it's kind of hard, you know, as you get older, you know, I'm 34 now and you think about things in a different light and you think about the impact of things then you think about them now. And it's, uh, you know, I got memories of, I just remember being young and uh, walking through a big power plant, which is where he worked. I just remember drinking chocolate milk out of like those little paper cartons you'd get in school. I don't know why I remember that. Um, not, not to be honest with you guys, I really don't have any other memories other than my mom telling me that my dad died. A few instances where I'd saw my dad when I was younger at my grandma's. Um, I remember he had showed me, like he, I remember him saying, I don't even know, he just, all I remember is him like hitting the rear end, like the top deck lid of his trunk of his car. And he was like, I just remember something like, watch this. And he hit that and it like opened on its own. I, I don't know what it was. It was the, to me, it was the coolest thing ever. I remember that. Um, I remember also uh, thinking about it. I remember, I don't know how old I was. It had to have been probably five or six, maybe seven. I just remember wanting like a Knight Rider car or something like that. I remember it had some type of something you put a hand on, like a handle and you know, you would kind of excel the car like that. I remember my dad, I f swear, was like walking me around like I was born in Charleston, Illinois, which is a campus town for Eastern Illinois University. And I swear I remember him walking me around dorm, like room to room looking for that. Who knows what we were doing or what we were really doing. I just really all I remember, you know. Um, and just growing up, there's been a lot of questions, you know, that about him and family that I just never got the answers to. And my, that other side of the family has been real vague in the information. Uh, not sure if they don't think I can handle it, but I know there's uh, one of his brothers, my uncle, has always said, you know, if I wanted the real truth, that I would need to come see him and talk to him about that. So it's not something I've done yet, so I can't really be mad that I haven't gotten the answers yet. But uh, if you guys knew my uncle, he's a pretty serious guy and, you know, was a, a police officer, corrections officer, drug cop, and he's retired now, and it's... Uh, He's a pretty serious guy, you know, so the way, the tone, demeanor of him wanting to talk to me and the way he said it just uh, told me I needed to probably brace myself. So that's something I haven't done yet, you know. Um, if you guys ask why I keep maybe, or think about why I keep looking away from the camera, it's just, uh, I don't know, I normally look at you guys and connect with you. It's, today it's just kind of like a little thought and reflection, you know. Um, I know some of you guys might not have your parents too and 
that makes it difficult, you know. I know some of you guys might even have both your parents still and may not really understand what this is like. Um, the relationship I have with my son, my son's 13, and he's 8th grade. Uh, I love him more than anything. I place him as number one priority, always have, always will. Um, he comes before anything. I don't give a crap about anything. He comes first. I mean, I, there's, other, there's plenty of stuff I care about. He comes first no matter what. Always has been, always will be. I feel like I live my life vicariously through him uh, and me in a way that I would basically be my dad, you know, and my son would be me and living this life kind of like what it would be like. Um, that's what I try to visualize it. That's why I feel like the bond I have with my son is very strong. Our relationship we have is amazing. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, I'm very blessed to have such an amazing kid. He's bright, he's talented, well-respected, he's smart. He's respectful himself, um, full of integrity. He's honest, good student, uh, respects his friends and family. He's, uh, you know, I know we all you know, boost our kids up here on this platform, but you know, to be honest with you, he's genuine. I mean, he's a really good kid. You know, I'm blessed every day to say the least. I got, we got lucky. Um, I love him to death, you know, and where I'm at in my life right now and the questions and just who I've become as a man and a father, it's just always made me want to make sure I guarantee that relationship stays perfect and that bond grows stronger even every day with my son. The reason is I don't want him to ever grow up like I'm now, you know, wondering these things, having these questions, not getting these answers, you know, wondering this and wondering that uh, makes it kind of difficult sometimes, you know, uh, you guys see me all the time, bright and happy and smile and post pictures. And it's because I'm a strong person. You know, I inherited that from my mom, my grandpa. Uh, we've all dealt with many things in our life. You know, some of us, not a lot. Some of us, a lot. Some of us, more than we should have handled, you know, or could have. And that's what defines us, you know, makes us the characters we are today, the men, the women that we are today. You know, we grow from boys to men and girls into ladies, into women. So, um, you know, as a boy, a man, a growing, in, you know, growing from boy to teenager to male to now it's, you know, I can't help but look back, you know, what a life would have been like with my dad here, you know, to, uh, you know, just simply talk to him now even, you know, to having him here in a vlog, you know, uh, going out to eat, uh, celebrating Father's Day, uh, Christmas, birthdays, um, so many different things. Uh, I mean, even things like uh, advice, you know. Somebody to yell at you when you know you're messing up. Somebody to not yell at you when you're not. Um, so many things that come to mind. Uh, that relationship, what it could have been. And it's just left here wondering that as it is now. So like I said, try to live vicariously through my son in that regard. And that, you know, I'm my dad and my son is me. And this is what it would have been like. Um, and I don't want my son to ever have anything less than that experience, you know. Uh, the impact for me personally, not having a father, I can tell you it's been uh, somewhat dramatic. Um, you know, we'd say here on the channel, this not the vlog channel a little bit because of my son's gaming setup, but like my main channel where I post anything about my son or, you know, our gaming setups or anything we do here. You know, you guys, not you guys, but those that make those comments, you guys have no clue about us, you know. You might watch this vlog today, it might alter your opinion a little bit so you have a background, you know. Um, but, you know, for you guys to belittle my son or belittle me or say my son's spoiled or telling me I'm raising my son wrong or telling me, oh, I can't wait to see how your spoiled son turns out. It's your guys' comments in that regard that make those are absolutely amazing, you know, uh, <laughs> to say the least. That's being nice about it. So you guys have no idea about me or my relationship with my son or what we've gone through. Uh, what my family's gone through, and I don't know what you've gone through, but I don't sit here and make comments on your videos like that, you know. So, you know, sometimes we take a step back from the tech and the technology and the phones and put everything away. And once you put all that away, guys, and you actually come out like I'm doing here and talking to you, uh, today is a very special day for me. Um, I would hope you guys can respect that and appreciate it. Uh, maybe leave me, you know, similar comment down below about your story. You know, maybe you've lost your loved one, mom, dad. Maybe you're going through that now. Uh, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. You know, maybe you're younger or you tell me it'll get better. Um, until you know, 
or you've gone through it yourself, you really don't know. You can't tell someone it's going to get better, you know. Um, I know he's with me every day. Um, I mean, I can feel him even now as we're talking about this. I just, I feel his presence, you know. I got a couple of pictures here I'll share with you guys. It's like me, uh, me with the spiky hair and then my brother and my dad. But let's see how close we can get those here for you. So there's my dad, Tan, my little brother there, right here, and then me. One thing I notice about any photo uh, with my dad, and me and my brother, or just me and my dad, we all have a very big smile together. And that's something a lot of people say that I have, that big smile, you know. And my son has it. All of our pictures, my son and I together have the big smile, you know. I'll give you another one here. A little bit younger, no t-shirt on. Still with my dad, and he's still tan. I love, that's I think why I'm tan now, but here we go. I'll give you guys another one here. So there's me and dad, and me as a baby. And again, you guys can see that smile. So I'm confident, you know, that bond that we shared, you know, when I was younger, my dad was younger when he was still here. I'm sure it was strong like my son and I, you know, uh, think about it a lot, you know. And uh, to have all you guys here supporting me on the vlog channel, Fast Electronic and Loud, it gave me for grandpa. Supporting my son. Some of you guys blast us for this, that, and the other. And to be honest with you, you know, for one of you guys that blast, there's about 500 other that like us. So we're not even worried about the ones or twos. And just know we're not going anywhere. We're not going to stop. We're going to continue doing gaming setups. We're going to continue vlogging. We're going to continue doing what we like to do because this is who we are. And we have an amazing group of friends, family, and supporters behind us. Uh, Team Fell, Team Fell Nation, Gaming for Grandpa. So when you guys start to look at me maybe differently or if you want to take a step back after watching this vlog, now you know you might get a little bit more closer in depth with me and a little more background. Uh, maybe we can connect a little closer that way, you know. If you had a certain judgment of me, maybe I've altered that with this vlog. I hope so, for the good, not the bad. I uh, just want you guys to know what today meant to me and that it was a special day. Um, you know, just celebrating the loss, not the loss, the life of my father. Celebrating... 23 years later, without him, still standing strong, uh, still operating my own business, got a college education, graduated at the top of my class from one of the most prestigious universities in the country, University of Illinois. Um, computer science program, was, uh, graduated with a master's degree, ranked top 10 in the nation, that uh, program at UI, uh, University of Illinois. So, very happy about that. You know, there was University of Illinois Springfield, it was actually a campus I went to doesn't change anything because the degree is still University of Illinois, same place my grandfather went to. My uh, parents went to college. My son's going to go to college. And I'm just, uh, you know, blessed. You know, you guys seem to say I'm blessed every day and thankful, you know, for the opportunities I've got. Thankful for all of you people that support me here. This is my passion. Um, you guys know I love to do this. So, but uh, a little different vlog today, but I hope you guys can appreciate it. But I'm Ryan Rigg, guys, the host of your show. Ryan Vlogs too. Not the number two, but T-O-O, -O, like in addition, like also. If I could, guys, please, big thumbs up on today's vlog. Appreciate it if you watched it all the way through and didn't speed through it. But uh, if you did, maybe you went back if you could. Uh, the title of this video is going to be a little strong, I know, but uh, that's to get your attention, and that was the point. So every day we get a little closer to knowing each other, and I've met some amazing people, you guys. So appreciate all the support, guys, from the bottom of my heart. Honoring my dad today, Chris Pankey. October 15th, 1991, he passed, 23 years later, and still standing here strong, and same type of smile. So, I appreciate all the support today, guys. We'll see you on the next vlog tomorrow. Gameplay, upload, appreciate it all. Thank you. Team Fell, Team Fell Nation is real. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow on the next vlog.